me. <laughs> Knocky knock. Darwin, to what do we owe this delight? Uh, I'm just looking for some enchanted mummy powder. You know that is far too dangerous an ingredient for a mortal to possess. Yep, but I need it. I need it to kill the drifter. I'm Dave, welcome to Portal. Sort of. See, once a year, every year, uh, Val has to flush the hub with insect repellent uh, to protect against uh, infestation and possible malfunction. And on that day, for my own protection, I'm forced to leave. I hate it. Uh, Val, do I have to? Yes, Dave, I'm sorry. All right, all right. Anyway, that brings me here to the lake to do the one thing I always do on spray day. I'm going fishing. You know, I do hate leaving the hub, but after all these years, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm finally starting to like this. And truthfully, I have Sonny Dove to thank for that because more than anyone I know, Sonny, Sonny understands how to savor the simple things in life, and I think he inspires his friends to do the same. I remember the day I first met him. He was the first virtual hero ever to contact me about my shame-conquering organization, Strong Men Unafraid to Like Unicorns Visibly, otherwise known as Smut Love. I remember it well. Greetings, Dave. I am Sunny Dove, the champion. I, too, am a strong man. A strong man unafraid to like unicorns visibly. Do you see me now, world? I stand by this fine horned steed, and I proclaim I like it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Behold its powerful legs, its fine, pristine coat. Oh, its magical horn. What a magnificent creature. Who would dare be ashamed to admire such a beautiful animal? Smut love, you may count Sunny Dove amongst your proud ranks. Smut love! Sunny is the single most enthusiastic member of Smut Love. So much so that I was actually thinking about handing over leadership to him. But that was before I found out he was going to be busy starting his own organization. In fact, I hear he's recruiting today. Ah, foul shame. Today we conquer thee. No longer shall strong men feel humiliation for admiring that most delicate of creature, the pixie. We will not fear accusations of wimpiness and emasculinity. We will admire Pixies openly, and we will do so with the pride of champions. Yes, friends, join me in my new organization. Strapping lads, energized and zealous to express Pixie infatuation laughingly exposed. Sleaze pile! Ha 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 ha! I love you, little Pixie. I love you! You already have. Now fly. Fly free and revel in your own pixiness. <coughs> ah, sleaze pile. I love it. To the city! You look like a strapping lad. Come with me and help me form a better sleaze pile. Say what? Do not be ashamed, my ally. You must laugh at those who would mock your pixie passion. Later. Ah, coward. You, proud warrior, no longer must you hide in shame. Sleaze Pile has arrived. Are you out of your mind, man? Indeed I am. Out of my mind on a search for strapping lads, energized and zealous to express pixie infatuation, laughingly exposed. Ha 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 ha! 
Strapping lads of Camelot, I stand atop this wall with a challenge for each of you. Join me in my sleaze pile, or retreat into the shadow of shame. There is no compromise. Sign up now, and you will receive a free bumper sticker with your membership. Follow me, proud warriors. Adventure awaits for honor! Sleaze pile! Strapping lads, energized and zealous to express pixie infatuation laughingly exposed. Actually, I hate to not support my friend, but I'm really not that into pixies. I hope he understands. Plus, I have a lot more in my mind right now than smut love and sleaze pile. Mainly the drifter. Last I heard, he was preparing to take down Darwin once and for all, but Darwin's not exactly an easy fight, and rumor has it he knows the drifter's looking for him. So I'm worried, really worried. The drifter, wherever you are, as tough as you are, good luck. A lot of people think that tough is something you're born with. Either you got it, or you don't. Wrong. Like anything else in life, tough is earned. And right now, I'm earning mine. Lugian Island is the coldest place in the virtual world. Cold bolts of the body and the soul. And this cave was the biggest deep freeze of all. Most people couldn't handle three minutes in here. I was making a long weekend of it. Because before I'd be ready to take on Darwin, I needed to build up my resistances. My resistance to cold and pain. I didn't know what would be in store when I found Darwin. I just knew it was gonna be an ugly, ugly fight. Yep, tough was earned. Drifter! D Drifter, are you in here? This way. Atal, what are you doing here? You could have died if... Drifter, you crazy bastard. It's so cold. Tell me about it. What's the story? You gotta come back to EverQuest, Drifter. We, we gotta lead our Darwin. Thanks, Atal. You were right to come here. Let's go. Nothing. I've been out here for a couple hours now and still nothing. This isn't like one of those fishing shows where there's some uh, scuba guy underwater sticking a fish on the hook. Whatever, I screwed up. I should have actually had uh, one of my friends meet me out here to help pass the time. Like, like Gruder, he lives for this stuff. Well, but Gruder's busy today anyways. Things have been going really well with uh, him and his new girlfriend, Yudel. He, uh, he told me he's actually planning a surprise romantic getaway for them. Wonder what he's got in mind. Oh, well, hi, friends. How you doing? I got to tell you, I've been feeling real good lately. It's cause of Yudel. She doesn't say she's my girly friend. We do lots and lots of the kissing and holding hands, too. It's fun, and it makes you tingle. My buddy Power says if I take her on a trip somewhere purdy, we'll do even more of the kissing. That'd be neat. So, well, I started planning us a trip. Look, this here is Tumarok Island, and Asheron's called too. Woo wee! It sure does look super. Let me show you. Here's where we're gonna stay. It's a little town called Shinoko. Floats on water like one of them there lily pads. I guess you could say it's kind of romantic. I bet you we'll be doing lots of the kissing here. Yee <laughs> hee! There's all kinds of neat towns around here. See, this here's Hakata. It's like a big tree house. And look at all them flowers down below. Golly, I ain't never seen so many colors. Have you? It smells like fruit. This city's near a waterfall. My buddy Power Dunn tells me that the ladies love a guy who can go over a waterfall in a barrel. Well, I bet you you would like that too, so I'll do it. I ain't afraid. Hey, and guess what? Ever since I learned me to read, I've been studying the culture. There's lots of good culture on Tumarok Island, like this here ruined cathedral. These folks didn't pray hard enough, I guess. Or how about some giant stone heads? They got culture. Heck, there's even ruins of fortresses here. But be careful. Looks like something bad lives here now. 
Oh, I almost forgot. There's buckets of dungeons around these parts, like this crumpled sanctuary. It's got lots of them niffy squids things. I don't like to eat them. They're chewy. This dark place is the Imperi something or other. All kinds of froggies live here. People around here call them burrins. Look, they got torches that's alive. Now there's even more burrins in these tunnels. Big ones. It's super dark. I bet you if I bring you here, she'll get real scared and hold on real tight. <laughs> Now this other dungeon's even got a palace inside. And snakes, too. I ain't scared of snakes like that Freddy Cat Indiana Jones feller. Oh, and this here one's called the Water Temple. I ain't sure why, but whoo boy, do them folks have a leaky roof. I'm glad I'm level 129. Otherwise, all these monsters might spoil my trip. They got nephanes and marsh armadillos. They's is huge and all kinds of spawns, and mucors, and onoro balls, and dark fowl chicks. They just good fried. They even got hunter shrafts. They got more than 4,000 hit points, you know? Anyway, I think you and me's gonna have a real nice trip. I bet you when we get back, we gonna both need to rest our lips for a week. <laughs> See you soon, friends. Bye-bye. Yeah, wherever Gruder's gonna take Yudel, I'm sure he's pretty busy planning things out. Too busy for old Dave. I could have called Bernie, I guess, but... In fact, if Bernie knew I was out here and didn't invite him, man, he'd be crying for days. Everything makes Bernie cry. <laughs> Why not? It's too dangerous. You'll end up dead. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do alone. But Darwin wants to hurt Davy, so I want to help make Darwin go bye-bye too. <laughs> Not a chance. Don't worry, I'll take care of Darwin. He won't hurt anyone ever again. You have my word. Well, okay, then after, can we go play? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a puppy! <laughs> Word had it that Darwin knew I was hot on his tail. He also knew that I could take him down. Apparently, he was busy collecting rare ingredients for some type of concoction to turn the table on me. Now, I was following his trail and working on a secret formula of my own. I need ingredients and information. Talk or drop. It was most foolish of you to travel to this place, Drifter. You... Drop it is. <laughs> Darwin's trail led me to every witch doctor and weirdo this side of Luckland. Mostly, I just followed the bodies and tried to make up time. Drifter, can I have your autograph? No. But that was the problem with being perceived as a hero. Always a distraction. Some were avoidable. Hey, Drifter, you have to help me reach Dr. Hopkins. I think I have OCD. Pancake waffle crepe, pancake waffle crepe, pancake waffle crepe. See, I can't stop. Pancake waffle crepe, pancake waffle crepe, pancake waffle crepe. But some distractions required immediate attention. Drifter, drifter, a rhino just busted loose from the zoo! Every delay on my quest to stop Darwin meant another life lost. Time was running out, and so was my patience. In a matter of hours, Darwin would be retired, once and for all. Hello, do you sell lollipops? No. Croissant sandwiches? You are wasting my time. Oh, all right. Then I'll just take four vials of cloud giant blood. We sell no such thing. That substance is highly volatile and quite illegal. It... Do you know what the difference is between a liar and a pancake? I beg your pardon? Nothing. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Portal. I'm Dave. 
and this is my forced vacation day. I totally blew it. I only asked Val for uh, one sandwich before I came out. Now I'm starving. You know, as much as I argue and squabble with Val, I gotta admit, her food processing unit is tops. I mean, anything, anything I want, done. Um, Alaskan King crab legs, burritos, chocolate chip ice cream, Val is the best. I mean, the only cook I can think of in all the world that's better is fashion expert Gerbo Rufu. See, for Gerbo, it's not just about, it's not just about the food, it's about the whole experience of the meal. As a matter of fact, I hear he's planning a banquet in Camelot right now. Wonder how it's going. Hello, I am Verbo. Could you please excuse me for a moment, hmm? I am putting the finishing touches on the last course of tonight's royal banquet. They are complete. The filthy Zurubakai dignitaries, they think I cook for them in their honor. No. Tonight, Zerbo invites the most important faces on the planet to the castle of Camelot, only so that Zerbo may cast his spit into their stomachs. The fools! They do not know how to govern. The planet has become a cesspool, and it is on their hairy shoulders. Look at the glorious cities. Zerbo has seen more beauty in the reflection of his own behind. No, it is not acceptable. So tonight, Zerbo will take his revenge in the form of his flame. Pee, pee. They should be honored. Look at this unsightly castle. They are so anxious to come to the place. It makes them feel so important. <clears throat> The castle is not fit for the servant of a jester. Let us examine its many, many flaws. Look at the little library. It is a facade. You see the same glass windows, hmm? Why do you think they are placed so high? Do you know it is to hide them because they are distasteful? Library. This is a castle of barbarians. What books lay on the shelves? Penthouse letters, perhaps? Oh, disgusting. Behold, the bedrooms. They look more like the barracks. I would find more comfort sleeping with a swine in the pain of mud. At least the pigs do not try to blind us with fake imitation velvet. The pigs relish who they are. These guards, you cannot know on the telly, but each one of them carries the most foulest of stench. Ugh, they are rejects from Buckingham Palace, no? So stoic, so proud. Let me test one and spit in his face. Pee! Do you like? Maybe you are too slow to react, no? Ah, statue by assembly line. Estimated value, one pile of dung. I know of your fake gems in the chalices and your fake knights of the fake round table. Yes, and I pay you tribute in Zerbo's own special way. Look for tonight's so-called royal feast. One table for idiots, one table for imbeciles. Enjoy your dinners, my friends. Pardon me, does this bus go to Thurgoden? <laughs> ah, the last ingredient, bunny brains. Now... Uh, I'm all ready to face the drifter. Lucky timing for you, here I am, scumbag. Ready to eat snow? Sure, as long as it's stained with your blood. Looks like your little formula's not working. You must be as stupid as you look. Sure it's working. You just gotta give me a mi- a mi- a mi- <laughs> Gee, looks like it worked. Oh, crap. What do you think, Drifty? Like the new me? Guess you could finally fill out your underwear. But you're not the only one who brought a special brew. Bottoms up. Hey, give me that! No, stop! See, I'm not just bigger. 
I'm faster! <laughs> now, what are you gonna do, Drifter? What I always do. Fight. There's still time to beat you before the second potion kicks in. Hmm. Good luck. Yeah. No. Ah, my sword. Oh, shield. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, no. Ah, my ribs. Well, well, well. So this is the end of the mighty drifter. Got a plan B, hero? Nope. Plan A's still working. <laughs> Looks like you lost the fight to me. I wasn't fighting to win, just to get your heart pumping faster. The poison circulates much better that way. Poison? Hope you liked it. Not all battles are won on the field, monster. That's a lesson that's too late to learn. Enjoy your trip to the netherworld, scumbag. And tell the rest of the animals I put there that the drifter... <laughs> says hello. I got one. Who wrote this? Oh man, I hope Bernie doesn't find out about this. He worries enough about me already. <laughs> He's dead, isn't he? No, Bernie. Dave has gone fishing. Well, why didn't he invite me? I thought I was his best friend in the whole world. <laughs> Perhaps Dave nearly sought to relax in solitude. What solitude? Oh, um, I got a tingle. Uh, be right back.